And so it begins. Welcome to episode two of this um, live review commentary content that I'm doing. I don't have a name for it as yet. I'll figure that out as I go. Today, I have a special guest over here. We've got my wife, who you can see here on the screen. If I'm screen recording, all right, let me record. Recording and sync clap right there. So you can see my wife right there. And that's the exact couch where we used to sit and shoot our YouTube videos, right? And this is one of them right here. She was just saying, she just walked into the room and saw how she looked back then. And she's like, I look pretty there. And you look pretty all the time, Mona baby. So on the screen, we've also got Vusi Tembegwayo. We've got Cizwe Lomo. We've got Yase Block B, Ukolbet, you know, the national treasure. This guy is piecing together the story of South African celebrity culture, news as it breaks, reminding us what happened previously. So we got him over here, you know, uh, talking about the beef between Cizwe Lomo and Vusi Tembekwayo and the fact that it won't die anytime soon as they have boldly stated how much they resent each other, right? And this was the episode where um, Cizwe Lomo was on podcast and chill talking smack about Vusi. So today, like a few hours ago, the Penwell Show dropped this episode with Vusi and they're having a conversation that kind of resembles what Black Coffee was also saying and kind of also resembles what my friend Edwin was saying about us, you know. So I just wanted to come and piece it all together. So let's introduce Vusite Maguayo here first and explain why we've got him over here in boxing gloves and we're talking about gender-based violence. That's the thumbnail to our YouTube channel, I mean, to the episode where we talked about gender-based violence, you remember? Yeah. So, Vusite Maguire is a businessman, right? And we spoke about him. It's not my first time talking about him. I know him, me being an entrepreneur and liking entrepreneurship and people in this space. I've been following him for a very, very, very long time. Glad to see him grow and for... A lot of the things that he said in the past, I'm glad to see him still around because I used to think he's a guy with a flashy accent who's just going to appear and then disappear. But he's actually turning out to be a worthwhile South African businessman to follow and listen to. And so <clears throat> when we first spoke about him, it was regarding gender-based violence. And that will lay, you know, foundation to the insult that Cizwe Lomo had for him. Listen, this is what we had to say back then. Check out my YouTube channel. This is, by the way, what I'm doing is a shameless plug. I'm promoing my stuff. I'm promoing my knowledge of the things, you know. I'm piecing together, you know, how I fit in with my friends and how the industry is kind of moving. It's all interesting. I'm starting to feel like I've joined a treadmill, you know, a running group. I'm within a conversation, me being on a platform where we're podcasting as well, make G podcasting, hosting Black Coffee, talking about fame. Edwin and I, you know, running into some issues. He's recommending that I go to therapy and he's actually taking me there in, in two days time. So let's start. If you don't know who Vusi Tembekwayo is, he's a well-known black businessman, entrepreneur, motivational speaker mm. he's made a name for himself he's kept his family out of the spotlight mm. he's kept um a clean reputation haven't heard anything about involvement with women or scandals like that despite him being a good-looking handsome rich man that he is oh, well. is he good-looking handsome we'll yes ah yeah. uh. Okay. Mm. So he's now all over the newspapers and Twitter has taken to dismiss his statement or the part of it in which he says 
his wife has a substance abuse issue sure. and twitter has now taken does he look like uh, a wife beater no he doesn't look like it but you know it's 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 very um what can i say um a wife beater does not look like a wife beater <laughs> <laughs> okay okay but he does not he doesn't look like one so yeah that's so this when we made this video it was um when news was breaking about Vusi Tembekwayo being in a situation where he is said to have beat up his wife, you know, and Sizwe Lomo, being a long-time enemy of the brother, had something to say about it previously on Podcast and Chill. Listen. <laughs> and, what, uh, and what's the, how, how the face there uh, with, uh, with Vusi? Are you guys still, I don't know, I haven't seen to him. lay hands on one another? I think he's laying hands on his wife. Hey! 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 Oh! Hey! Oh! Vala, Vala, let's show! Hey, Vala, let's show! Vala, let's show! You guys read the headlines? Vala, let's show! Where is it? Vala, let's show! Vala, let's show! Did you read the headlines? Vala, let's show! Kono wa tembegi, man. Jai, Vala, let's show! Kono wa tembegi. Hey, ya, ne? That, that... That's that pun, that um, uh, shout out, yeah, a block B, damn. So that's, you know, the kickback that, I don't know, I can say it's the first shot because I haven't heard um, Vusi talking about Sizwe in a while. But then today, uh, Vusi being on the Penwell show had some words to say about uh so I then realized he had no interest in resolving anything. Yeah. He did then what has been his entire modus operandi. That's why he fought with AKA and Ricky Rick and Nasty C. Right? We're talking about a guy with respect, as far as I know, who's been on radio for over a decade. Mm. I don't know how many awards he's got being on radio. So maybe before you tell us about our business, you should just be number one at yours. Jeez. Let's start there. Right. So you're busy out here questioning people's credentials, mm. but the only credential you stand on is Nye Aute Grand and Kulenge Maling right. Who are you flexing to? But I want to come to where this issue comes from. Because when we understand this issue as black people, mm. we're unstoppable. So the call doesn't come in. Sure. Next thing I'm seeing him saying stuff, I lose my shit. My wife was pregnant, I'll never forget, mm. with my youngest. I go into my car, record a video, and I address him. Sure. Because, because, so I then realized he had no interest in resolving anything. Yeah. He did then what has been his entire modus operandi. That's why he fought with AKA and Ricky Rick and Nasty C. Right? We're talking about a guy with respect, as far as I know, who's been on radio for over a decade. Mm. I don't know how many awards he's got being on radio. So maybe before you tell us about our business, you should just be number one at yours. Jeez. Let's start there. Right. So you're busy out here questioning people's credentials, mm. but the only credential you stand on is Nye Aute Grand and Kulenge Maling right. Who are you flexing to? Did this repeat? Yeah, it did. Entry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm like wondering. <laughs> what, is it repeating for the second time? It's the second time ending. Okay, the second time ending. Okay, I lost concentration for the moment. I thought the clip was longer. I actually watched one way. It's, it's, it's a bit longer where it goes into things change, you know. Um, one thing he knows about time, you know, is that it, yeah, well, 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 one, two, three, four, five, etc. So anyway, um, in another clip on the panel show, Vusi here is talking about being several characters being him with Vusi Tembagwayo, the one that he is to himself privately in his own thoughts, you know, the one that is truly known by him, the real him, and being Vusi Tembagwayo, the guy with the accent, the guy who looks all clean all the time, who drives a V12 and 
goes to Miami for a conference where the top 15 members of the G8 summit have gathered to discuss the future of the planet and all of humanity. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let me come here first. Let me come here first. Um, Black Coffee, right? I'll come back to him talking about personality. Listen, to, listen a bit. I'm not VT. Yeah. V How you speak and sure, stuff. Sure. Do you never feel like you have to constantly look a certain way, like your brand, mm -hmm. and you can never break out of character and just be vulnerable. I mean, I talk shit. I know sometimes you swear now and now and again, it's very rare, but generally you, you're very well kept and polished. Do you never struggle with this thing psychologically where you find like you're fighting the brand versus yourself? I used to not anymore. You see the brand versus yourself. Now that's something Black Coffee spoke about. And it seemed like a lot of celebrities have a split personality kind of thing. Is that important for people to be like that? Because I'm wondering, you know, um, I'm out here building a brand. I'm trying to be famous myself. Make no, you may, may make no doubt about it. So we're listening to those who are ahead to hear what they gotta say. You understand? But hey, did I miss? Um, no, we've heard him. I get. We've heard C's on this side. And we've heard Vusi, so now we definitely are here. Okay, I'm not right, running ahead of myself. This is me, by the way. Like, my mind is racy, racy. Wait, somebody's calling me. Bra 50. Sure, how are you? Sharp, bro. It's all well. Mm -hmm. uh, someone showed me drone. Okay. And, uh, this one is uh, it's called uh, Mavic Pro. Mavic, you know about it. Mavic, Mavic number man, number one, two, three. I don't know. It's just written Mavic Pro. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know, you the, know how much it's, 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 I can take it. Mm, there are several ones. I'm, I'm not sure which one that is. Can you please share a photo with me? Right now, I'm in the middle of something recording, but when I'm finished, I'll check it out and, and let you know. Uh, it's gonna take long because this guy is with me now. You wanna sell or go? <laughs> uh, but which one? Which one does he say it is? Can you see it? Okay, let me send you the photo. Okay. All right. Cool. Watch this phone and let me know what's up. So that's personal business, y'all. Damn. I've heard about taking phone calls and leaking your private information when you're doing live things. That's the risk. I talk about it in this other video where I'm talking about Gideon, the whole dynamic of getting on camera and speaking openly and freely like this. And then when calls come in, you don't cut it because you're on stage, you're performing. So this is the stage. What happens is what's happening. So let's get back into coffee. A lot, you know. Um the most important thing, and I said it to him, is to, f to seek therapy so that we can learn to deal with fame. Because mm. yeah. fame is such a disease. Oh, it's the greatest one. It's the biggest mm. It's such a disease. And, and I struggle with fame so much mm. still. To the club, to the drugs. Yeah, man. So, yeah, people must be on some drugs. It does really seem like it. I mean, look at these guys, bro. Um battling it out like how rap was you know back in the days you have this rapper beefing with that rapper over there and we got that till today you know two big names in the industry two black men who you know talk a lot about being better black people and uplifting ourselves and you, you notice that they've got this ego and they just can't meet, you know? So that's kind of a bit of the conversation that Black Coffee was having there with McG about people having to seek therapy because this is a drug. So it does look like both of these dudes are on drugs. It's entertaining for us, the people, and 
to some degree, I believe these celebrity people are milking this, you know, they are chasing whatever attention they can get. They will continue doing this for as long as possible. You know, one will never decide to absolutely keep quiet and the other one absolutely keep quiet. They'll keep, you know, trending, allowing themselves to trend from time to time. I believe that's what celebrities are doing. And you know, you might find that this is all manufactured, man. But what Black Coffee said there is real. And here's me and Edwin and Sipo on the podcast. And this brother here, I've been working with him for like six episodes now. And what I'm doing now, freely speaking, getting in front of camera, having conversation. Here I'm having, I'm, 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 I'm just speaking directly to the camera. There's no one here. But on the podcast, we speak to each other. So far, we haven't been doing the sort of content where we've got like topics to cover, trending topics or nothing like that. We've just decided to have direct conversations with, with each other. And yeah, so we've been evolving naturally episode by episode as we get together. So we've been talking about Edwin and his sexuality. And in this episode, he expressed how pissed off he is. And he's been saying for a while that I need therapy which is what ties into that black coffee piece over there. He's been saying, I need therapy. And I'm actually going to the therapist with him on Wednesday. Check this out. Go also and check out this piece, this argument that we had on the podcast. It's, it's a brilliant, free, open piece where we were having an organic, natural moment. It's the first time something like this happens for me you know, on camera, in real life. And I appreciate it. I appreciate the bra. You know what? I don't understand what's Noah's agenda with the LGBT community because of this Sipo on the other hand. You are living your best life. You are focused on your heterosexual life. You are, you know, you, you've never made any comments as to my Gabo Geibaka. You are living your best life. On my right wing here, every other conversation that we have, there's always LGBTQ. Always LGBTQ. Hence, I've come to the conclusion that, you know what? No, you are projecting, my friend. If you've got issues that you need to deal with, go to a therapist and stop using me to as a punching bag. No, go deal with your issues in a therapist room where it's a safe space. We can't always be talking about Bugay Baga or what's happening or my shortfalls, Kabuge. There are a lot of things that are going wrong in this world that we should be talking about. Uh uh, you are a heterosexual man. Look at your heterosexual life now. Focus on it. Develop your life. Stop looking at us and how where we are falling short. Astabata, how are you? I could run straight, is it not? I am. Yes, focus on this, the issues that we are straight. Damn. So. So, so yeah, man, that's a, that's a real moment. And we are actually going to therapy for this. Edwin is a guy who attends therapy. He does it religiously. And because we are genuine friends, we're brothers now. I play a part in his life and he plays a part in mine. It's interesting to hear him. He doesn't even watch podcasts. So I'm sure that he doesn't even know that Black Coffee said this thing. You know, and so he suggested it out of his real life experience and a, a, you know, him seeing a need for that to happen. So I'll be going there with the brother. As for these ones, how do I conclude, man? Is it possible that these guys could be putting together a boxing match? Is it possible that Casper can put them under his celebrity boxing thing? And we can see them get in a ring and sort it out that way. Because, yes, yes, le, 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 let's see rich niggas fighting there, man. They, they, they are not too big to fight. How? It's not about being too big. Eh? But look at him. <laughs> what, compared to, compared to Sizu? No, not compared to Sizu. Look at us. I think... Um, a lot of celebrities suffer from maybe... You think what? Um, like, a lot of public figures yeah. suffer from identity crisis, mm. not knowing how to separate they themselves, the mm. natural human being, who they can't differentiate between themselves and the brand mm. so much that you get trapped and you live in the brand. Kids are peeking on the window over there. You can see the light from the passage. 
So you don't think that they can So cross? no, I don't think so. I, I I don't think that the beef that is happening between Sizu and uh Vusi, you know, could be um there are there guys who are content creators who create beefs for for the purpose of marketing. Then let them box. Let them but box. Nah, I really see them boxing like man Boom Mayweather are making good money from boxing. Like it's 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 a if if there's good money in it and these guys just want to we know that this is the industry, you know, people are playing roles, you know. And hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not done yet. Kinda we're going back. Hold hold on, hold on. Oh, man. I'm worse than yeah, and I'm not even that famous. Yeah. I struggle. Back a lot, mm -hmm. you know. Um where where to draw the draw yeah. the line? Yeah. Where do you be nutty? Where yeah, you coffee? It's mm. because it's being black. I I okay. Let's listen to my past self. I was gonna pause and give commentary, but I already have. I wonder what it's like to be famous, and I wonder what struggle this is, you know? What real serious issue it is they are facing with being famous. You know, uh, here, drawing the line between your personal self and the brand, I suppose. And I can see that there are people living like that. They've got like an alter ego. I think that's how all celebrities kind of end up dealing with life by having the person in front of the people and then the different you and you play these bipolar roles so much that there's literally another identity of you and sometimes this identity is very very different from what you're playing on stage so i guess yeah man it's a schizophrenia maybe maybe that's the drug maybe it's a madness yeah because being black coffee works most of the time 100 percent. you know there's there's a lot of perks like um fun i eat in the most prestigious restaurant and i call his nati they're like oh sorry nati we don't have tables and then i call again as well i get someone to call as hi i'm black coffee assistant he's looking for a table and so just this one so listen to vusi tembegwai Let's start with Penwell's question from the jump. When people become celebrities, or to what you're saying, an avatar, you live in a cage and a prison, and you almost cannot be yourself. Yeah, yeah. Do you never struggle with that? Because like I said, obviously I'm joking, I, we laugh at how you speak and sure, stuff. Sure, sure. Do you never feel like you have to constantly look a certain way. like your brand, mm -hmm. and you can never break out of character and just be vulnerable. I mean, I talk shit. I know sometimes you swear, now and, now and again it's very rare, but generally, you, you're very well kept and polished. Do you never struggle with this thing psychologically where you find like you're fighting the brand versus yourself? I used to, not anymore. Um, and the reason is, you know, if you ever read my tweets, they're signed VT. Yeah. That ain't me. I work for VT. I'm not VT. Yeah. VT goes to work. He has a mandate, things he's got to deliver and do. Yeah. And I work for him. And when I show up for work, mm. I do that. Let me get, put it to you another way. So, you know, I'm a, you know, I invest in like different companies. I'm sure. CEO of a venture firm, right? And the other day I was having this conversation with my rabbi and I said to him, this is interesting. When we are looking for people to hire, we say we have a role. Yes. Isn't that what Hollywood calls actors? 100%. In other words, when I hire Panuel, I need him to play a role. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking him to be himself. Sure. Does that make sense? Sure. So for me, that conflict was divorced when I realized that actually every single day, all of us are playing a role. If we taxi driver, you play a role. It's a fact. There are things you have to do to survive as a taxi driver. If, you, if you're in Gatolis, if you're, no, no, a, no. You know, if you're a cashier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. at a pick Hold up. Let's take it back to Black Coffee and hear what more was said there. Even women, if you want to eat, I'm uh, this. <laughs> For it a bit. That's... You know, because all of a sudden, you are a hot man. 
to your hot man's at home. Mm. You know, you are a father to your mother all of a sudden. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that changes power uh, so much that even when you're outside, you know, you're going to behave a certain way. 100%. You know, all of a sudden when you're, when you're not home, your uncle's going to have a meeting without you. Your uncle's going to have a meeting without you. Before the uncle's thing, bro, imagine that. Like, you really believe that you are who you say you are, you know? Your black coffee. <laughs> like, yeah. when you're walking out, you're now permanently black coffee. Vusi tembe kwa yo. The narcissism. The unavoidable narcissism. You know, I feel sorry for those who become narcissistic by mistake because they get carried away by pride. But for those who go into this wanting to be this brand, to be seen like that all the time, treated as such, well, may your madness follow you. That's your business, man. That's your business. That is your business. <laughs> what do you have to say, baby, when I say things like these? When I play my character, when I be me and I speak openly, these are the things that I say. And I'm not trying to play this double character thing at all. If I can maintain being me and be me throughout, and not have to create this other brand, this other costume that people are talking about. If I can avoid this schizophrenia, that's what I'll do. So if these people want their madness for themselves, I say let them have it. But you find that a shocking statement? Yeah, I do. You know, a lot of a lot of people don't actually know that they have narcissistic characters till you probably have um, someone that can point you out of that. So imagine maybe... Uh, black coffee for instance he probably knows yes right now he does know but he didn't just to want to be narcissistic you understand something apparently when an opportunity comes and you're all of a sudden driving lavish things you have all the money the pride and the ego goes then it gets extreme mm. to the point where you feel your god that's when you have to actually attend a checklist yourself and say yay i need to be introspected and feel like i can't I can't distinguish who's black off and who's not. Yeah. All right. So that's what's up. Let's listen to Tim McGuire a little bit more. Pay, or you are an administrator at a home affairs office. If, you, if you're in Gatolis, if you're no, no, a, you know, if you're a cashier mm-hmm. at a pick and pay, or you are an administrator at a home affairs office, you play mm-hmm. a role. Yeah. There are things you have to do to be effective at that. And so in my mind, I kind of went, these are just the things I have to do mm. to be effective at this. I happen to be good at doing those things. Doing those things is not who I am. It's something I'm doing. Mm. And once I was able to divorce those two things, oh man, it was all chilled. Until then, it was huge conflict. I will tell you this because you'll understand it. Him mentioning divorce, I wonder if he's still married to his wife. What's happening? Let's check that out. <laughs> What's happening? When a man uses words like that. You think, think he's insinuating something. Yeah, he must be saying something. September 2022. They're in spat over property. What do we know? What is the most recent one? Let me see. Divorce. Okay. Let's check that out. What a shame, man. Hey, what's up with the slow internet when we are live in front of people? You know? By the way, I've got a whole bunch of tabs open here. I've gone around searching every single podcast in South Africa, and I'm going to be reading each and every 
one, one by one, all of them. You heard? All of them, like there's a lot, 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 you know. So we're here, okay. I don't know if this page is still loading, but let's just read the text. Damn, the slow internet. Embarrassing. This website is the South African. The logo is still going to load, but let's jump in with Vusitembequayo. Zoom in. Vusi Tembequayo and Palisa's domestic problems. The Tembequayo's Tembequayo was reportedly arrested in December 2021. His wife claimed that she had been assaulted by her motivational speaker husband. City Press reported. And if that loads up quickly, we might be able to see the initial um, article that came out about him assaulting his wife, which is what then led to the two of us doing that video. So we continue. Tembe Guayo reportedly spent some time behind bars and was released the following day on bail. Ma Sholo reportedly accused her husband of having slept and dragged her out of bed and told to leave their Dane friend home. According to Kaya FM, when Temeguayo got out of jail, he took to his social media to tell his side of the story. He explained that he and Matholo were going through some difficult times in their marriage. Temeguayo revealed that his wife was suffering from a long-standing battle with substance abuse. Ne? People in Zanzi, our oh, agree we talked about it. We were like it was we talked about it in the video that it was because of substance abuse, remember? Ha! Huh. You think I'm saying you've got substance abuse? Yo, listen. In a side against him, mm. you see. Mm. We don't know if these people... Okay, let me just get straight back to the article. This has already been said. Long-standing battle with substance abuse. People in, in Zanzi reportedly blessed Bash Tembequayo for airing his wife's dirty laundry. They were convinced that he was doing so only to paint her in a bad light. So, okay, cool. That is what they did, actually. We spoke about it here. In, in those, those comments are married people or these people. In, or if these people have an issue. His wife has a substance abuse issue. And Twitter has now taken a side against him. Mm. You see, mm. we don't know if these people in those comments are married people or what but we as married people would like to speak to the issue because these things are very tough they like, are very tough guys especially yeah. in a marriage mm. so yeah that was our video where we spoke about our own uh gpv issue when i'm paid like we honestly spoke about it you slept me I forgive you, Anna, baby. I love you. People in Zanzi reportedly bashed Tembequayo for airing his wife's dirty laundry. They were convinced that he was doing so only to paint her in a bad light. Tembequayo and Matholo are reportedly betting it out in court again. The motivational speaker reported that his wife at Johannes... What? Reported his wife, reported his wife at Johannesburg High Court. Tembequayo claimed his wife was refusing to sign off on an offer to sell their Stain City estate. The successful entrepreneur reportedly bought the property in 2017 and has since suffered financial strain due to COVID-19 regulations. The home was also reportedly almost repossessed. Amen. So the property was reportedly purchased for investment purposes and is estimated to be worth four million. A buyer reportedly offered to buy it for 3.6 million, but the offer has since expired because of Matlolo's delays. FNB has already reportedly begun legal proceeding against Tembequayo and Matlolo since last year. The bank has reportedly begun the process to declare the property executable due to outstanding payment. The bank's target is to reportedly recover 1.3 million so 
yeah, I guess that's that's what's happening. The brother is divorcing and um, it all stems from, you know, a well-known issue where he touched his wife. Before we sign off, let's listen to uh, Seizway one more time. The battery's about to die. I'm out of here. Mm. And, with, uh, and what's the, how, how the face there uh, with, uh, with Bussy? Are you guys still I don't know, I haven't willing seen to lay hands on one another? I think he's laying hands on his wife. Hey! 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 Oh! Hey! Peace out, I'm out of here. If you like this episode and you want to watch another, click here. If you want to watch the episode where I talk about getting into this and speaking for the first time, click here.